10 minutes after 10 on this Saturday evening. We are tracking mostly cloudy skies before we head to bed and already raining yet again across northeast Kansas. Here's a live look outside at satellite and radar. The first band of rain for today has rushed off pretty quickly to the east and northeast. But notice a, a lot of rain now still in parts of western Kansas and popping up in north central Kansas, including our northwesternmost counties in both Cloud and also Republic County. He's starting to sprinkle there near uh, Concordia and in Belleville. What happens this time of the year, even in early to middle stages of May, where we see severe weather across the southern plains, a couple hundred miles to our north, we oftentimes see some blizzards. Uh, whiteout conditions being reported tonight in portions of South Dakota and western Nebraska. Absolutely crazy weather happening with this same low pressure center we've been tracking for the past seven days or so. So here are those latest uh, rain showers now moving up between about Beloit and Cortland up near Belleville, Concordia and Glasgow as well. We are tracking at least a chance for some more showers and a couple rumbles of thunder possible late tonight into tomorrow morning. But the main round of rain is done for our area. Here's that estimated rainfall over the past 24 hours. Uh, most areas remain dry north of the highway. Otherwise, where you see that dark green color. That's about a quarter of an inch of rain. That mint green color, about a half of an inch, and that blue color uh, south of the viewing area near Marion and McPherson, close to one inch of rain in those places. Uh, this is for Mother's Day. Tomorrow on Sunday, the eastern half of the area painted with that yellow color. The Storm Prediction Center down in Norman, Oklahoma has uh, issued a slight risk for severe weather. Basically, we are tracking a cold front that will trail uh, behind this big low pressure center and finally sweep its way off to the east by tomorrow. We can get a couple storms to form out ahead of that front. They could be strong to severe. So we'll track out your forecast hour by hour for you using future tracks. You can plan your night and your Mother's Day. Here we go. 10 p.m. tonight again. Scattered showers still remain in the forecast, but the bulk of the rain is done for tonight. Maybe a rumble of thunder possible. You can see though by um, tomorrow morning 3, 4, 5 o'clock. Again, scattered showers still around and that's basically it. I'm going to show you another computer model here. This takes us tomorrow afternoon at 3.30 p.m. Cloud cover will start to thicken up across the area. This is the spine of that cold front that you're seeing future track pick up on. But if we can get a couple storms to pop up out ahead of the front, remember this is where the slight risk is for eastern counties. Those storms would be strong to severe. High winds and some large hail would be possible, but notice how quickly it clears out and moves off to the east. This is tomorrow by about midnight heading into Monday. Temperatures across northeast Kansas tonight very uniform. The lower and middle 60s will track out your temperature forecast for you hour by hour as well. All in all in the temperature department, a fantastic day. High temperatures in the 70s, but by the time you wake up early on your Monday, heading back to work and to school, temperatures comfortably cool in the upper 30s and lower 40s. Uh, tonight we fall back down to just 64 showers and thunderstorms storms are likely for our western counties. Again, already raining near Concordia uh, tonight between Mitchell, Jewel, Republic, and Cloud counties. 78 degrees for a high temperature tomorrow. We dry things out and clear things out Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday before more rain later this week into next weekend. And Brooke, I've uh, actually just posted a video within the past hour or so on our Facebook page. Just look up for K look up KSNT <laughs> or KSNT Storm Track Weather, and uh, just basically giving you a play by play of what's going to happen between the hours of tonight and then into Mother's Day. But uh, we're still tracking the chance for storms tomorrow. Yeah, head over to our Facebook page, like us, poke us, send us a message. You know, whatever. Do whatever all, you're in the mood do for. Do all of the Facebook <laughs> things, and we like that. Yeah, yeah, we appreciate that. <laughs> yes. Well, next.